Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the European Cross-Up webinar. And um, looks like it's probably a slow session. We can take a look. Um, uh, your dollar. Yeah, very, very slow session. Look at this. Cable, Aussie. The only thing is Aussie. We did get that break finally, sub seventy two eighty seven, which opens the door for lower and lower. We've got so that's in check. Dolly in relatively quiet. Cash dollar index. Well, all we did was come back up here. Remember that ninety three twenty six is pretty solid resistance. Uh, take a look at data. We did have UK CPI and PPI data out a couple of hours ago. Um, housing price index out of the UK is due out at the bottom of the hour. And at the top of the hour, we will get Eurozone construction output as well as CPI. And in the, uh, coming into the US session. Uh, we will get building permits and housing starts at 8.30 Eastern, along with CPI for the Canadian dollar. And crude oil inventories, that'll be at 10.30 Eastern. And that's gonna be it. Uh, we did get the NASDAQ to come up here. I was hoping we might have got up to, I thought we might have been able to goose it to about 15,029. I had a limit there, didn't quite get there. And I was up when it kind of rolled over here. Um, let take a look at the S&Ps. They had a nice bounce from that 44.12. Remember, we've been talking about that 44.12. and. Um, it's a very nice bounce for that area. Um, take a look at crude oil. We've after that bounce here, we've languished back here, and we're just kind of hanging around the sixty-six fifty-eight area. And to take a look at gold, gold was really surprised. I mean, we. That was actually the high when we came in yesterday. Um, but boy, I did not see that. Making it all the way back to 1798. That was like something else. And we're still holding up. Remember, I think we had our support at 1785, I believe, here. Could be wrong. Um, holy smokes, I did not see that coming all the way up here. That was one heck of a bounce. So with that, we'll just go and get started. Although it looks like it's pretty quiet. It's still dog days of summer in FX. So no changes here in the euro. I mean, like I said, there's well, I mean, obviously we did blow the 1748, so I'm wrong on that part. But as far as really being able to move out, I just don't see it. Even though we dipped down here, remember we had that 1713. So okay, fine, they made it down there. Um, 
And remember last week when we came out with that data, I, was, I think I had 1705. And I think that was the lowest it ever got. So we'll just keep it at 1705 here. It's just not much. There's just not much. Uh, they're talking in the chat room. Oh, it's at, it's at 117. And maybe they're going to goose the stocks. But look, we have to really break lower. That's what I was thinking. Even if it did went like below 17, I just don't think there'd be much in there because you have to get a whole new leg down here. I just didn't see that there was enough juice. Maybe we can. I mean, the dollar index is a little bit higher because obviously concerned about what's happening um, with indices. Looks like uh, we may be on the uh, pullback. We shall see. Oh, we do have Fed minutes coming today. This Fed minutes that it was. And, um, That's going to be out later on. Um, let's clean my glasses. Um, if you look on the upside, let's take a look at a two-hour chart. Yeah, I'm right there. Let's just call it 1762. And let's go move into the cable. Now, like I said, we did have that dollar strength a bit here. Actually, I like this area right there. You see this this body right there coincides with this wick. Right there. 37.27, which is actually where the market's bottomed so far, but it has been moved very much. 37.27, and on the upside, that wick right there, not wick, but body, 38.08. And moving into the Aussie dollar. Remember, we had that 72.87. If we said we, if we can get a close below that, that would open up the door for the next move lower. We did get that next move lower. There is some support down here. We're trying to hold. Let's get a better look at what we're looking at. Seventy two eighty seven. We talked about that. Tell it could dip down to right there. I don't know if you can see that right there. See that whip right there. Seventy two twenty. Right there. Seventy two twenty one. If we do get that move lower, it'd be seventy two twenty one.
And on the upside, seventy three twenty seven. If we got a bounce back, it's actually resistance right there, seventy three twenty, but. So go to 73.27. Um, moving into the dollar yen. Finally kind of hung on here. We got that double. Remember we talked about that, that um, tweezer bottom. Uh, certainly doesn't look like it wants to go beyond that, so we'll go to the body now, which would be 923. Let's take a look at our two hour chart. We'll go right there. You see this body here? It'd be 934. On the upside, there's 74. Let's call it right there, 976. Oh, that's where we're at. So that holds there. See that coming across here? All these little wicks in that body right there. There's 76 right there. Um, move on now to the cash dollar index. No changes here, it's still the 9326. Oh, actually, we had, oh, back, back to our 9326, we had 9280. So it's back to the old resistance of 9326. Trade a bit firmer here now. And support will be right there at 9252, which we had before, before we shifted them lower. And with that, we'll go and move into Bitcoin. And 46,918. You can see this 46,412. This gave it that extra boost. Remember about the Walmart hiring a digital. It wasn't, it's more of a bigger position. I don't say um, digital manager. But anyway, um, that gave it that extra boost. And we kind of hang around there. So now resistance is going to be the, as I mentioned right here, this big one, 46.412. And support, we had 44.849. And the low has been 44. One okay, thousand seventy two. Let's go into a two hour chart. Hmm, see right there coming across there. Guess that makes sense right there. Right there, just go right there with the body. See how important those bodies are? And that comes in 
Mm, next one's going to be the Spurs. Mm. This is going to right there. See that body? That's a good little touch, too. Let's come across. So forty four fifty. And it came up short. Just like I thought the Nasdaq was gonna be able to make it to um thought I was hoping it would make it up to fifteen thousand twenty nine, but it didn't. Um Uh, support, remember we talked about that 44.12, goes back to that. Well, in the meantime, it'd be right there, 44.25. Back to 12. Only thing is, if when you break the 12, that's going to be it. That's going to be all she wrote. You come back down here and break there, that we're on our way down. Oh, moving into the NASDAQ. That hanging man worked out pretty good. Mm, key level, well, 14.923, but right now it's going to be right there. 14.939. Upside for right now. Yeah, if we get there, it's fifteen thousand thirty five. And we're trading pretty quiet, so there's just not a whole lot of analysis. It's pretty simple in a sense. It's just plain old levels and ethics is dead as a doornail. What else is new? Um, moving into gold. This was the one surprise move here. So I don't know if we can make it to 1798 again. Boy, that's a, be a heck of a stretch. Yeah, we had 1785. That's where we found support. Um, I think we're way overdone here. We'll go 1795. And support. Seventeen seventy eight. And moving on to crude. We're just languishing down here. Support for right now, 66.21. And the upside is going to be right there, 
Do we have it? That's it. That's the thing. We're just not moving anywhere. These markets are not moving. They, right now, they just don't even move in the European session very much. I mean, the NASDAQ came off a little bit. And actually, it's a little bit kind of back a bit further now. Um, all we did was just kind of, we were here in Asia. All we've done is just kind of slid into Europe. And we came back up to 15,002. And then we're kind of rolling back down. But still relatively quiet. You're just not seeing much action happen in Europe. I don't think we will see any until the end of the month. Europeans take a three-week holiday. So there's the bias chart, and we'll get that posted. And thanks for joining us here on the European Cross-Up webinar.